What's up guys, Cody here, and this is my parking lot review of 10 Cloverfield Lane. Now here on Parking Lot Review, I'm no movie critic, uh, I'm not a person that's trying to pick apart a film and dissect it and tell you all sorts of things about it. I just want to get straight to the point for the people that are thinking about seeing this film, but they just don't know if they should see it yet. I try to go see the movie as soon as possible, like the earliest showing I can get. Uh, right after it's done, come out to my vehicle, turn on the camera, and say what I think about the film. Okay, pretty simple, right? Now if you had seen the trailer, which I'm going to assume you did because you're here watching this, so either you've seen the movie or you're thinking about seeing the movie, um, you know that a girl gets in like an accident, uh, John Goodman's character rescues her, and then he's in a bunker, um, you know, trying to hide out from the world being destroyed or whatever's outside his door. So us as the audience goes along for the ride with this, uh, I don't know the actress's name, but her name in the film is Michelle. So we go along with Michelle trying to figure out how the hell she got there, how the hell is she going to get out of there, should she even get out of there, just all sorts of fuckery throughout the whole entire film. There's also another dude in this bunker. Um, I'm not going to give away how he got into the bunker because I think that's part of the fun whenever you go in to see this film. Uh, but he's very, very funny. Uh, he helps lighten the mood in this film because uh, the film does get kind of heavy sometimes, like intensely heavy where you're just, you're super uncomfortable and you almost don't even want to be in the theater with some of the parts that happen because especially if you can relate to some of it. Uh, I personally didn't relate to a lot of it, but I've definitely been in a situation similar to a few things that happen just with, uh, you know, just aggression between people. Um, yeah, so it's something that you would probably relate to, and that helps the film a lot because while you're watching it, you're sitting there thinking, like, what would I do in this situation? Or how shitty of a day is that person having? Or how good of a day is that person having? Because apparently the outside world is just gone to hell and everyone's dead, so who knows? But yeah, that's one of the best things, man. I, I, I can't say anything bad about this film other than sometimes... I didn't like the sound because, uh, or like the, the, not the sound, but like the, um, you know how films, whenever they're trying to play up a scary scene or like an intense moment or whatever, and then the music gets going and the music gets more intense or, uh, if they want to make you jump, they hit you with like a big loud boom or some loud sound or whatever. That's not actually there, uh, or that actually wouldn't be there in real life. Um, that type of stuff throws me off sometimes. Uh, most of the time it goes unnoticed, but with this film, uh, there were intense moments where I just thought the music was played up too much, um, and it didn't, and it just wasn't necessary. Like I think this would have actually done a little better if it would have just been quiet, and all you would have got is like the real, like ambient sound or whatever um, you would get if you were actually stuck in that bunker there instead of like the, you know, the dramatic music playing whenever something's about to happen you know but yeah that's like the only complaint I have is just I didn't like the the sound being played up sometimes or the in, the intense moments um, but everything else it is just great it was just a, a really good time uh, all the actors were were great uh, and yeah uh, here on my reviews uh, and, and sorry I'm not a professional these are something I'm, I'm trying to get into I want to I've been wanting to do movie reviews for a long time just simple movie reviews that are really quick and straight to the point so I'm gonna try to just get to the point now uh, I have a little review kind of thing that goes as follows uh, whenever I rate films because I don't want to give like a number review or whatever I, I just think of it as similar to uh, Jeremy Johns uh, he's my favorite reviewer he's the one I follow uh, for all my movie reviews um, so I wanted to do something similar to him but not like rip him off uh, because he has an excellent thing going for him and I, I love his style of movie reviewing so all props to him I just want to have some fun doing something similar uh, anyway mine goes from this is from worst to, to the best film uh, don't waste your time wait to rent it if you've got nothing better to do, go see it in theaters. You should own this film. You'll probably want to see it twice. Uh, now this film, I would give, you should go see it in theaters. 
Uh, I think you should go see this film in theaters just because it's actually fun. You know, get some friends or, you know, your girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. Go to the theater. Don't look up anything on it. And most people probably won't. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, this movie came out of nowhere. It, the only thing that people are even curious about is because Cloverfield is in the title. Um, but it's just fun. Like, I actually got lucky. I went by myself just right after work, but I ran into an old friend from high school and his girlfriend, so I sat next to them and got to hang out with them while I watched the film. Um, it's just a fun time. When the film was over, we were all we were, we were all talking about you know little conspiracy theories or this and that about what we thought about it, um, and everyone agreed it was a good film. It was definitely a good time, and it's just so it's one of those films I think you should experience with somebody so you can talk about it when it's over. Um, so yeah, the guys, that's my review. I hope it was helpful. Uh, I had fun making it, so I'm going to be making more of these. Uh, I'm more of the nerdy type of person, so you know, like the Marvel movies, DC movies, uh, anything involving aliens, you know, fun stuff. Uh, and then I also like, you know, like Kung Fu Pandas and like Disney animated Pixar stuff. Uh, so I'm going to try to have some fun with this and keep it going. If you found this review helpful or if you like what I'm doing, uh, please let me know in the comments down below. Um, this one is a lot more talking than any other one will probably be. This is just an introduction, uh, hoping that people will maybe subscribe to my channel and give me a chance. Uh, anyway, guys, that was my parking lot review. My name's Cody, and I'll see you guys next time.